Frisco's mayor of Powtown talks early season safety in the backcountry. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, Bale Mountain opens this Wednesday, two days earlier than scheduled, with 500 acres and seven chairlifts, including both gondolas. There is no backside access, and Golden Peak is closed to the public for ski training. Down the interstate, Beaver Creek opens a week early on Saturday, with 220 acres and top-to-bottom riding on the main mountain. Strawberry Park, Bachelor Gulch, and Arrowhead remain closed. Copper will be opening a day earlier on Friday, November 16th. Tom Petty, heartbreaker, living legend, rap scholar, art major. Big Boy joins electro DJ Grammatic for a free concert in Breckenridge this weekend. The rapper is best known as one half of Outcast. That free concert is at South Gondola Lot this Saturday, November 17th, beginning at 4 p.m. Also Saturday in Dillon is a free performance by rising country star Carly Pierce. She plays at 1 p.m. It is the first winter show at the renovated Dillon Amphitheater. Both concerts happen, snow or shine. It feels like mid-December in the backcountry, and Frisco's Gary Fondle is loving it. 2015, we had a pretty good November, but at least a decade that it's been this good this early. It's off to a great start. Fondle is a former big mountain competitor who has skied 1.5 million vertical feet in the past three years without ever riding a chairlift. It earned him the nickname Mayor of Powtown, and he takes his duties seriously. You know, I went to a talk years ago when I was getting in the backcountry, and Dean Cummings said there's three main things, root selection, root selection, and root selection, and that, you know, that really set in. Fondle says anyone who visits the winter backcountry should be a weather geek, studying up on wind patterns and snowpack and knowing how to read slope angles. For the most part, it's mainly playing it safe. The mountain will tell you when and where to go. Tune in again tomorrow for more thoughts from the mayor on early season backcountry or follow him on Instagram at Frisco Powder Addict. Sheriff Jamie Fitzsimons defeated candidate Derek Woodman last week to retain his title for another four years, and with it comes a year-old lawsuit against the sheriff and his office. Former Deputy Jared Dennis is suing for discrimination. He was fired in 2016 for alcoholism and claims it is a disability the office ignored. He seeks an undisclosed amount, including back pay. He currently works for Dillon Police Department. Both parties are scheduled to meet with a U.S. District Court judge this Wednesday. Stay tuned to Crystal 93 for the latest. Summit Girls Rugby has done it again. The varsity side went undefeated at the state rugby championships over the weekend, beating Monarch in the final 34 to nothing for an 11th straight state title. So did Carl Barth's team ever think about upholding a legacy? It's one for this team, that's how we look at it. At the same time, the team knew they had an entire county to play for. And you got to represent Summit County there. It's a pretty big shoes to, to fill, so we got to uphold an awesome county and all the support we get back home. Barth says that varsity team faced a tough semifinal against Glenwood Springs, but Summit found its groove with stout defense, letting 9 of 11 varsity players score a try. Ended up pitching a shutout for the day, so that was we were really happy about that. The varsity team lost just once this season to United of Utah at the Pink Sevens tourney in October. In national news, Stan Lee, a Marvel Comics icon and creator of classics like Spider-Man, died today in Los Angeles. He was 95 years old. In sports, all Colorado teams have the night off. On Monday Night Football, the bottom-dwelling Giants play the 49ers. And in local sports, brought to you by Deepwater Mountain, Inc., Summit High Winter Sports are practicing now. Games get started around Thanksgiving. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.